Hi, I'm Peter Kahnström of Kahnström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you a solution I found to a problem some of my customers have been asking me recently. It's how do you limit the amount of items you can have in a list? There are booking classes in a list and they want to limit the number of seats. And of course, there are lots of ways you can do that. You could add a workflow, you could do an event receiver, or you can do it with permissions. But none of those really applied for this particular customer. So I'm going to show you another way. First, I'm going to just add the number of items that I want to allow in my list. And I can do that by simply doing, going into edit mode and pasting uh, one for each. And here there are 25 items. I've just done a fill with those in Excel. And now I don't want to allow any more items being added to this list. So I'm going to go into list settings and do a validation setting. Um, now I'm going to do something that could never evaluate to true. So created equals less than today. Less than 2014, 14, February. And that's never going to be true. And uh, then I'm going to set the user message to no new items allowed. All right. So that's going to stop me from creating anything else. So that means that members can, of course, edit these new items, but they can't um, add any new items there. So they can go in and reserve their seat by uh, editing one of these. And you can just put another field here with the attendee to make that possible. All right. So now they can go in and add themselves here. I'm just the administrator now. So they're unbooked on the, on the first seat there. All right. But as you see, you can't create a new item because then it will stop. 26, and I'm trying to say that, and I see no new item allowed. All right, so that solves the problem of limiting the amount of items in a particular list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.